In this simulation, we have a colorimeter, a thermometer, test tubes, several graduated pipettes, three beakers, a volumetric flask, a waste beaker, disposable pipettes, and several samples to work with. For this experiment, you'll be preparing a series of six solutions in the test tubes provided. It's helpful to use the data table function to list the components of those solutions to refer to as you progress through the sample preparation. This list of components can be found in your lab manual. To begin the sample preparation, we'll pour aliquots of each of iron nitrate, thiocyanate, and water into the three beakers by clicking on the samples. Now we'll prepare a more dilute solution of thiocyanate by pipetting five mils of the stock solution and placing it in the volumetric flask. Then, fill the volumetric flask with deionized water by clicking on the water bottle and finish by shaking the flask. This will then place an appropriate amount of this solution into a fourth beaker on your bench top. Now you are ready to begin filling your test tubes with the required components. Begin with the thiocyanate solution. Click on the second 10 milliliter pipette one time to select it. Then click on the thiocyanate beaker to move the pipette over it. Use the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard to draw up the desired amount of thiocyanate for whichever specific test tube you're working on. Then click on the corresponding test tube to move the pipette over it. Click on the pipette and select Add Liquid to Test Tube. This can be repeated for each of the test tubes that you need to add that solution to. To add the water, click on the third 10 mil pipette one time to select it, and click on the water beaker to move the pipette over it. Note that each beaker is labeled to help you remember their contents. Click on the corresponding test tube to move the pipette over it, or choose Select Test Tube if there is already some liquid in the tube. Click on the pipette and select Add Liquid to Test Tube. Repeat the previous steps and add the correct amount of deionized water to the other test tubes as required. To complete the preparation of your solutions, you'll need to add one milliliter of iron nitrate to each test tube. For this, click on the smaller two milliliter pipette to select it. Then click on the iron nitrate beaker to move the pipette over it. Use the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard to draw up a one milliliter amount of iron nitrate. Then click on a test tube and choose select test tube. Repeat to add the correct amount of iron nitrate to the other test tubes as required. Once all of your solutions are made, click on each test tube and select add cover. And then click on each test tube again to shake them. After all of the test tubes have been shaken, an advanced time button will appear in the bottom left corner of your screen, which will allow you to advance time by five minutes. Click on the cuvette to add test tube one contents to the cuvette for calibration. Click on the lid to close the lid of the colorimeter and then click on the cal button to calibrate the colorimeter. Next, click on the disposable pipettes box to select one. Click on test tube two and select draw mixture. Then click on the cuvette and select add mixture to cuvette. Now you can click on the cuvette to add the solution to the colorimeter. You can take absorbance readings by clicking on the lid of the colorimeter to close it. Record the absorbance value once the lid is closed and then you can remove the cuvette by clicking on the colorimeter lid again. Now you can clear the cuvette by clicking on the cuvette and selecting Clear Cuvette. Repeat this procedure to obtain absorbance readings for each of the samples in your test tubes. The second part of this experiment operates in a nearly identical way. 